In this video, I would like to share with you my first impressions of using the Valentina pattern drafting software. Now, a bit of context in my Facebook group, Ingenious Sewing Professionals Network, uh, we talked about uh, using software to draft patterns. And so someone asked, you know, whether this was a good idea and which software to use. And um, now the thing is, I've been using software to draft my patterns for at least 15 years. And um, the last time I researched and looked around to find a new solution is a few years back. So when somebody in the discussion mentioned uh, Valentina, I obviously had to go have a look. Have a look, and uh, so I discovered this uh, open plan. Open, always say open plan. It's an open source solution, which means it's free. And um, so I promised I was going to go ahead and uh, give it a bit of a spin and see what what um, what I think of it and whether that's that's something worth exploring. Now. Um, I've had a first play with it. And so just want to quickly share with you my first impressions. So to sum it up in one word, so far I really like it. And I'll explain why. Um, now the first thing was, um, it was quick to download. Uh, the installation was just like double click on the file you've downloaded, follow the, the, um, the wizard that says, okay, install here. And um, so that was a really like no fuss installation, really quick, really easy. And um, OK, so I'll, I'll dive out of the picture so you can see around. This is not going to be a tutorial. I just really want to share uh, what I've done so far and why I like it and why I'm encouraged to keep to keep playing and to keep exploring. Uh, so there you go. Um, now, when you first open it, well, you're not going to have this um, the pattern here so when you first open uh, the software this is pretty much a screen that you're going to get it's not overwhelming which um which i really like so here you've got your tools for points lines curves arcs so now comparing that with other uh, software i've used the i don't really want to go into too much detail there because i've used um wild ginger for many years but it wouldn't really be fair to to start comparing because i have stopped using wild ginger a while ago and i used an older version that surely has not much to do with what they're offering now so i don't really want to go and um and go too much into too much too much detail but what i do want to mention is that it's an an like the underlying concept is entirely different between, well, it's actually Valentina is using the concept that, um, that I was looking for when I first started looking. And especially when I looked again, uh, a few years back, it's, it's called like a parametric, um, sort of grading system or, you know, so what that means is when you create a pattern in one size, you know, and you can use any tool for that. So you could use Adobe Illustrator or, or you know, and that's what you do when you're drafted on paper. So you've got, you know, for each line length and each distance and angle, you use basically the measurements that um, for that particular pattern, that particular size you want to make. Now, the whole thing, when you sew professionally, the whole thing gets interesting when you now want to offer that same, create that same pattern in a different size. And... Um, so there are several approaches. There's the, well, you can start it from scratch with, you know, the different uh, measurements. That's not exactly efficient. So so when you see uh, professionally graded patterns, that's usually the ones that you buy, you'll see kind of all these points, you know, sort of kind of they go further out and further up for larger sizes and further in and further down for smaller sizes. So you get um, by proportionally, expanding or, or reducing the pattern size then you get the different sizes and um, so that's cool it when i looked into it it seemed kind of like a bit more complex than than um, seemed 
logical for me to get into because the thing is I'm not dealing with uh, so many customers and, and standard sizes. So I often made to measure um, outfits. So for me, it's really, um, yeah, I wanted something for, for custom sizes because not everybody fits in. And, and the other thing is that, that um, for flamenco, flamenco costumes are really close fitting, you know, like skin tight um, dresses usually. So, you know, I need a fair bit of precision there. So it's not something where you have a shirt or something loose where, well, as long as it's kind of roughly the right size in the shoulder, the, re the rest is fine. So I really need a lot of precision there. Everything really needs to be in its place for this dress to, to, to look good and um, be comfortable for dancing as well. And uh, when I sort of looked around, I came across this parametric approach and I thought, oh, this is really what I want because what that basically does is... Um, it defines the any sort of distance in relation to a different to the, the to the previous points and it uses uh, the measurements as like placeholders right so you say okay from here from a4 to to uh, a5 now it's just an example I'm making this up this is not going to be correct it's it's like a four, a quarter of the of the hip girth uh, plus um, one sixteenth of the of the um crotch length you know like something like this and um now to get the pattern in the size that you want you will associate a measurement file that will then give you the actual values that go in there so that means if you then change the measurement file from you know, like one say one customer to the to another one you have a new pattern for that new client which is as if it's drafted from scratch for that person so it's not just manipulating uh, a, a different size pattern a little bit further up here a little bit further out it's like literally as if you've drafted it from scratch for that customer and I was like that's what I want now at the time there wasn't any uh, software that I could get my hands on that would do that and when I realized that Valentina is actually working that way that's when I kind of my eyes lit up and it's like oh this is what I this is what I want and so I'm really keen on exploring that now as I said the first impression it looks like okay there aren't an awful lot of tools and especially like comparing it to to something like Optitex where you have loads of tools and darts and automatic one-click dart rotation and pleats and loads of tools like the first impulse is oh Jesus you know there isn't much here it's just all lines and arcs and points and so that seems really basic but then when you think about it that the whole concept is a different one it makes it makes sense so I'm still you know like this little draft here is pretty much what I started off with and I had no problem creating that it was like really sort of foolproof and um, there is also the help is pretty good the, the actual user manual is a bit like well you know it's it's an open source solution nobody likes to write that stuff so there isn't um, it's not hugely like there will be sections where there's nothing in there but they have a YouTube channel with lots of videos most of them are really short and none of them actually have any sound to it so you have to kind of really look what they're doing but there are a couple of really helpful tutorials and there was one in particular where where someone went through construction of a trouser pattern like really from start to finish if so if you've got an hour that's really worth looking at so it's one thing to say okay here you make like a little rectangle but to really draft in a complete pattern that was incredibly helpful to see how he actually does it and um, what I also liked especially when you draft patterns from scratch um, and where I found OptiText like the learning curve was like huge the concepts totally different like if you take your pattern making book right if you use the Patrick metric pattern cutting I like the uh, Joseph Armstrong and uh, so you follow the instructions there it goes like okay draw a line from A to B at that distance which is like uh, you know this is hip depth and from here to knee, that's like half of that 60%, whatever the, you know, the proportions are. And when, like, in Valentina, you can follow these instructions 
Valentina works exactly that way. You know, so okay, draw a line from, um, you know, you you draw draw a new point from a. Well, I've grabbed the core curve, so I'm kind of, you know, not really helping here. But um, so it's like you, you kind of go from one point to the next and say, OK, how how long is that point and and what distance? And you can also use always use um, variables where you can define uh, formulas already and you've got uh, measurements that you can have access to. So you can really build that pattern exactly the way it's described in the book. So you don't have to now translate these instructions into the way, um, let's say, Optitex works, where you start with a rectangle, which gives you the contour of your pattern. And now you have to figure out, like, okay, now how do I go and draft this using that approach and working backwards from a rectangle and now with working with internal lines and how do they then create the pieces so here it's really like okay there's a point here and there's a line there and that's this distance from using those measurements it works you just can really follow the instructions step by step and that i found makes like life a lot easier initially it looks a bit difficult now how do i out of all that mess of lines and curves how do i actually get my pattern pieces but in they've got this concept of first you draw you where know, you have your points and your lines and and your your curves and then out of that you create your actual pattern pieces and you do that in in the detail area where you then can add seam allowance and um and your grain line and all of these things and then you go to layout where you prepare it for printing so they've got that three-step process which makes a lot of sense like it's really quite quite um, intuitive now so yeah that the main the, the approach is sort of quite different like in 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 wild ginger you'd start from a pattern that you'd create choosing the options that were already there and then you start adapting and um, so here this is really great to um, to create something that's um, when you create it from scratch and when you, you want to use it with different client measurements. Like it's brilliant. It's really good. Now there are some things that kind of you, you just can't go and say, okay, look, I'll just copy this piece here because like each there's a, a very strict dependency between all the points and all the lines and all the angles that makes that uh, adapting it to new measurements possible. So there are some things that don't work as easily as you might or as you may think they should or could or whatever. So but the power of um the power of um i've only got one set of measurements now i'm not going to go in and, and walk you through this there's tutorials there i'll put the link below that i found really helpful where you can really see how how if you change the measurements well i can try and change i see i can see what i can do is i can open the one measurement file I've got. So here you see the measurement files. And now if I go and um, take the hip and say now, okay, let's, let's make that hip bigger. And we save that. And now here, if I come back here, it'll tell me that, hey, the measurements that are um, from the person that's assigned to this pattern is, um, it have changed so if you now say well okay let's sync those up you see like immediately the pattern opens up you know so the because this distance here and then in it in the drawing as well because this line here these distances are calculated and in taking into account the um the hip measurement so all you change is change the measurements and instantly your pattern is is adapted so that's really, really powerful if you do custom work. So I'll definitely um, keep exploring. So for me, the next step is like here, I've just sort of fiddled around a bit and, you know, drew a few lines and to see how that works. It seems a bit of a pain in the butt initially, and someone actually mentioned it, because you can't just, you know, from here to there, you just draw it or put a number in. Um, so it's everything, if you really want to take advantage of the power it has, then you do want to enter the formulas for each point, for each line. But um, that's a one-off effort that gives you 
a hugely flexible uh, pattern that you can use for 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 your clients now uh, if you've used other tools before like the you know the points and lines it's really simple the curves the way I mean you have to, I've even sort of fiddled around here with one uh, if you've used Adobe Illustrator then you'll be familiar with these with these handles here you know they they may sort of take a little bit of of um, getting used to but they are actually you know you can sort of play or you grab that curve and you play around and it really reminded me of Adobe, Adobe Illustrator so if you know that then these curves um, are really actually quite quite um, nice to work with so yeah as always I know if you've used similar um, tools before it's going to be a lot easier but it's definitely not overwhelming when you look at all the all the um, there isn't all that much there but the concept the idea of um, define to define all the all the um, points in relation to each other and and um, using the measurements as placeholders so every time you you add or you associate a new set of measurements you instantly have a super precise pattern as if it was drafted from scratch for that person like that is that for me is really big for, for the way I work where it's um you know really tight fitting so I really need to have the boobs in the right place so there's no kind of oh yeah that'll be okay, fine it'll that'll fit anyway so it's not t-shirt stuff it's really tight fitting non-elastic fabrics most of the time so that precision is uh worth gold for me and uh, i haven't had it also supports standard sizes i haven't had, i've only played on sunday with it so i've had one afternoon fiddling around with it and um so i haven't gotten into the standard sizes yet but it does support it so it's definitely going to be worth a look for me the next step will be to actually try and draft um a real pattern from start to finish something that i can actually use and uh, i'll be back with another video and uh, see so so share with you how that went until then um if you have experience if you've played uh with it and um i would love to hear what your impressions are and uh, if, if you've got any questions if you want me to look at something in particular then please let me know i'm um more than happy to to help you out if i can and uh, learn anything i can so 